Well, I made it to New Zealand, but the question is, what do I do now? Shit. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my fucking God! Oh! That is fucking ridiculous! Oh. Ah! Uh. So, yeah, I did the biggest bungee jump in the entire Southern Hemisphere. I don't know if I ever want to do anything like that ever again. But now that's out of the way, I can focus on the mission. Let me lay the groundwork for the objective. So we have three weeks to get from Queenstown to Auckland to meet my sister at 5.30 in the morning. The focus of this mission is to stay healthy through exercise and movement, and also to get outside of my comfort zone through conversation and hitchhiking. Is it alright if I film or you don't want to be on camera? <laughs> so I'm currently in Wanaka, New Zealand. Thanks to a lovely girl called Sienna. Drove me from Queenstown all the way here. Mm. <laughs> that, that guy's looking at me. And she might be going to Lake Tekapo tomorrow, which is coincidentally where I'm headed. Um, the past couple of days, I've been hanging out with a heap of different people. I met this girl called Marit from the Netherlands. I had a lot of fun writing notes in my journal and then like going in, sticking it on people's cars something really nice to just pass the time if you're not having a yeah. super busy That's day. Awesome. Today I spent the day mostly hiking up Roy's Peak. Um, and again, I was hanging out with like four girls from nice the UK. Stuff. <laughs> Look at this view. I'm in a tree in a lake. I just can't believe it. I can't believe I'm just standing up in the in a tree in the middle of the ocean. I actually ended up eating dinner with a couple of people sitting down and I didn't film it um, just because I thought it'd be a bit weird. But see you in the morning when I'm uh, trying to catch a lift. Eight and a half hours. Oh yeah. Let's get this day started. <laughs> Out on the road again. I gotta get a hitch to Lake Tecapo. But, yes! 
I mean, having a car is just yeah, it's just kind of essential. The best. So I just got a hitch to the roundabout from Grace, um, who I met last night eating dinner, um, and I didn't film it, but that was her, and I forgot that she had a car, and she was just driving out at the same time. So. Ain't nobody loves me better too. Makes me happy. Makes me feel this way. Ain't nobody loves me better than you. No, 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 ain't nobody loves me better. You did a bloody Yui for me. You, you You're smiled a legend. so lovely. Oh, really? We have, uh, you have to be on the back of the bed. I don't know if there's a problem. Power or something. I don't we have one stop in between just to have a look and take some pictures. And then, cool. Uh, Sounds good, thanks guys. Yeah, no worries. You're welcome. Guys, thanks so yeah. much. Don't worry, man. Lovely to meet you. And, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Have fun with the rest of your trip. Traveling is such a pleasure. Iris and Brum, thank you guys so much. That was an amazing experience. And she might be going to Lake Tekapo tomorrow, which is coincidentally where I'm headed. Oh well. god. Let's hope this works. Let's go! How are you? I'm good, thank you. I don't even understand how the timing was so perfect on that. Yeah, that's It's like, it, it makes sense, but it also... It's so ridiculous. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'd like to see you on the road there. <laughs> I was just wondering if you guys had like a big piece of cardboard. Sorry? Cardboard. Today, we're trying out some new tactics. Oh, shit. I've never smiled so hard in my life. Should I just start dancing or something? Alright, listen, one car that drives by equals one push-up. Far out, that's 20 already. 42, 43. 43. So I spent an hour and a half at the other spot. So I actually had to jump on the bus real quick, relocate. I've never seen anyone reverse on a freeway before. <laughs> Thanks so much for pulling over, mate. Just shot to the back door. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Out here in Kaikoura, it's been a slow couple of days just exploring oh, yeah. and planning yeah, and exercising and eating. But yeah, today we're heading off to towards Nelson, back on the road, back to oh, hitchhiking. Just, this feeling just never gets comfortable. I always just feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> 
I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. There's absolutely no traffic, but I'm feeling good. How you doing, my friend? Yeah, no, that's fine. Whew. So Fabian dropped me, and now I'm in the middle of absolutely fucking nowhere. The closest town is like definitely 10 k's away. Sorry to bother you. Um, is there any chance you could give me a lift to the end of the road? Okay, come on, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nah, that's all good. All right. See you later. I just got a lift from the cops. <laughs> I cannot believe that that worked. Ooh. I just can't go past a local bakery. Well, it's a lovely, lovely spot to hit, Joey. Hey guys, thanks for pulling over. Look at this, holy shit. Cheers, brother. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, be safe. And Elaine, thank it's you so much. Here. Good luck yeah. in your course. Have fun. Cheers, guys. 12 days remaining. Oh, do I have to be in Auckland? I'm so far away. Look at my hair. Look at my fucking head. All right, so we're just entering the forest of the Abel Tasman walk. It's gonna be great to just detach, be out in nature for three nights. And um, yeah, kind of just forget about everyone and everything. Holy moly. Can you believe it? Look at these boat wankers. This place is off its nut. Day two, let's go see what this track's about. Thanks a lot, have a good day. <laughs> wow, that was a lot easier than expected, that was cool. Alright, so day two is in the books. Did about 20 k's today. Yeah, did most of them with Aaron, who I met on the track. Um, he's, yeah, a pretty experienced hiker. I don't know, some of the inclines smack was seriously testing me. Because with 20 kilos on my back, going up a freaking hill, is really like not the nicest thing. The lovely guy that took me from Kaikoura towards Nelson, yeah, he gave me some of the, you know, special herbs, you might say. So tonight I might be indulging in some of the special herbs. Whatever this guy gave me, this is some special stuff. Hey mate, is that your boat out there? Is that your boat there? Oh, yeah. The tide's too high right now, so I was trying to see if I can get a lift over over the bay. lifted up off the platform and my butt like shifted. I thought I was genuinely gonna get sent back. I didn't even have a life jacket on. Mate, he was fucking sending it. That was crazy. I can't believe that just happened. Back to civilization. Abel Tasman checked off the list. 
I really gotta go do some laundry now because, man, I stink. To be honest, I can't really be bothered hitchhiking anymore. Like, then I'm actually in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, there's not even a grocery store here. Hey guys, um, Matilda and Mary here. We've got Dom in the back. We've picked him up off the side of the road. We're just taking him to um, Nelson so he can catch the ferry. Hitchhiking with Mary, and we've just got a lift and a big old RV. We've left the South Island behind, heading to the north on the ferry. We've only got a handful of days left to get to Auckland. So yeah, cutting it close, but I'm bloody excited for these next couple of days. So today I made it to Taupo and I did something that I'm not very proud about. I'm gonna read you my diary entry and that might explain what's going on a little bit. The bus wasn't part of the plan but I took the opportunity just as I had one beer and one smoke this trip. It's almost a metaphor for being a human. Maybe this mission wouldn't be perfect without one bus commute. Maybe it's okay to not stick to the plan, but as long as you're going in the direction that you trust is right, it's okay. I can make all the excuses in the world about why I took the bus, but it doesn't matter. I deviated from the basis of the mission and I own it. But you know what? I'm proud of myself. As an initial solo international experience, I've come out here and I've given it a bloody crack. And that's all I can really ask for myself. I'm leaving. Days. That's literally it. No more buses, no more excuses. Let's do this thing. RV, boat, jet ski. Like, I'm missing a truck. Let's go! Nice talking to you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. You have a lovely day ahead. <laughs> you too. Are you kidding me? Last stop, Auckland. Let's finish what I started. Here we go. Do we have any takers? I think this roundabout could get me to the final destination. We fucking did it! We fucking did it! I can't believe it! We made it! <laughs> Alright people, I'm in off the bed now. Still watching this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's beautiful out here. I'm living. And I really hope you've enjoyed. Oh 
I wish you just rocked up a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your name? Josh. Where are you from? Liverpool. And what's a nice quote? Uh, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. What's your name? Mary. Where are you from? Netherlands. And what's the best place you've been to? The best place I've been to is Bruce or Glacier, New Zealand. Go to Monica, you need to go. So what's your name? My name's Josh. Where are you from? From the UK, just north of London. And um, what was your favourite hike? My favourite hike was the Welsh 3000s in Snowdonia, which is uh, all peaks over 3,000 feet in one day. So what is your name? Lena. And where are you from, Lena? I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And what's the, your favourite book you've ever read? Um, well, I'm reading right now. It's definitely one of my favourites. Oh my god. Is the <laughs> 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 I'd say I'm doing pretty well in it so far, but this way through, but... That thing is huge. Tell me your name. Clara. Kiva. And where are you guys from? England. England. <laughs> and if you could have one superpower, what would you get? Oh, um, the ability to change probability. So that, <laughs> what's, the, what's, what's the probability, the probability I can fly? 100%. Oh, Zoom. Okay. What's the probability I'm invisible? 100%. And okay. yours? Mind reading. I'd love to be able to read people's minds. So tell us your name. Finn. And where are you from, Finn? Uh, I'm, well, I'm from the UK, but I love you. And tell us your coffee order. Oh, flat white, all the time. Unless it's like late in the afternoon, and then number three is an espresso. My name is Paco. Where are you from, Paco? I'm from China. <laughs> what do you prefer? Do you prefer hiking or bike biking? Uh, oh, that's a tough question. Okay, bikepacking. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Yeah. My name's Nick, and uh, I'm from Canada. If you could put anything inside of a sandwich, what would you have? Inside of a sandwich? Yeah. Oh, good one. Uh, just probably throw some hummus down, some chicken, uh, sprouts on top with some fresh garden kale. Hell yeah, that sounds good as <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> G'day, I'm Mary. And where are you from, Mary? I'm from Kathy Cox. And if you had a time machine, which period of time are you going back to? Maybe like 1920, Paris. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> All right, so tell us your name. Aaron Ross. And where are you from, Aaron? Hamilton, New Zealand. <laughs> What's the craziest story you had on the TA trip? Got to camp with a mate. And um, this was when I was experimenting with a bit of drinking, and I had a few too many. <laughs> and I started mixing drinks. Oh. Ended up carking it, just vomiting, and just had a terrible night. Next day, had a 30 kilometer road walk uh, in the oh, rain. In yeah, the rain? In the rain. Oh, yeah. Saw a sheep. It was like, meh. And then I just like vomited. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us your name. My name's Ali Fair. And where are you from? I'm from New Zealand, but originally mixed Middle East and Turkish. If you could read it in the year of your 20s, which one are you reading? Oh, I know that. 2017. That year I finished my thesis. I read like 50 books. I did about 10,000 photos. We were at 286 pages. I kind of fell in love and I, think I shifted a personality and character and into like one year. It was like four to five years, if not ten years worth of living in one year. It was insane. 